So I'm sitting with Bob Carlos Clark, who's one of my inspirations, has been for a long time. And you want to talk about just a little bit where you sure. come from and why, why, why do you do what you do? Well, that's a, you filming me? A big, you filming me now? Oh, Christ. I, that's a heavy question. Um, I know it's a big question. I, um, well, I do what I do because I, because I enjoy it. I mean, quite simply, it's something that um, has become a fixated obsession of mine. You know, I, 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 I'm for, one of the fortunate people in that I actually enjoy my job. Uh, and I'm now in my, uh, in my dotage focusing more on my personal work than, uh, than I have done before. Right. I'm looking to find, you know, some, something a bit more that interests me more than commercial work. Right. And your, your book, Shooting Sex, is, I find it to be really a, it's, it's not just a picture book. It's very literary and insightful. I, I had a feeling that it would be good to publish a book that was more, um, uh, just more about my approach to the business, and um, uh, there was there been, during the eighties there was every kind of photographic book was a was kind of a monographic thing. You know what I mean? There were so many Herb Brits books, or Robert Maplethorpe, or Peter Lindbergh books, and they're all wonderful books, but they don't really give you a lot of insight into the way these guys work and the way their minds work when they take pictures. I'd be very interested to to have a bit of that. You know, if I was you know to to, to look at a photographer's work, it's nice right. to have the background to that. And right. um, this book is kind of. Um, this book is about really what inspired me, what motivates me when I take pictures, and how I relate to my models. Right, and do individual models inspire you differently? Do you find yourself... I, I mean, yeah, my inspiration is totally driven by the, by the people I photograph. I'm very, um, I'm very conscious of you know, their contribution. I mean, what I do is I just record what they do, so, so I, I'm not interested in really in getting models from model agencies uh, right. as a whole. I mean, I'd rather go out and find my own. Where do you see yourself and where do you see kind of the erotic arts direction going or, you know, in five years, do you have any sensibilities about where you'd like to see it go? Or? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased to see, I mean, that the, um, the quality has improved hugely in the last, you know, since I started in the business and what we did was very simplistic and, you know, very, down, you know, I was in the early Skin 2 magazines and uh, it was, uh, it was uh, pretty basic. What's this happening here? <laughs> What's that about? He's shooting me, shooting you. Oh, I see. It's Freddie. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's all right. Fine. I didn't realize. I thought you just kind of wandered in. No, that's perfect. So, I mean, you know, when we started, it was simple. I did the early issues of Skin 2, and uh, and I, I published my own catalog and stuff. And um, it, was, um, it was all very low-budget stuff in those days. And, and it's wonderful to see the Skin 2 magazine in this big glossy 10 pound magazine now. Right. And um, uh, I see that um, Dior are now using, you know, fetish stuff for their new fashion campaign. There's Christina Aguilera dressed up in fetish stuff. And, you know, the whole, uh, the whole thing has opened up. And people like Gautier and stuff and uh, Terry Moogler, you know, they've changed the scene. Hey, no, no, do you have anything in, you'd just like to say that you would like for people to hear? That uh, not especially, no, okay. no, no, not really. <laughs> okay, well, if I had a message for uh, um, the people, as you say, um, my message would be uh, to whatever you do, have fun with it. I mean, basically, that's that's really what I'm trying to, in a sense, rediscover in my work. Because a lot of a lot of the time, I was working commercially and not and working for money and not particularly enjoying it. So. Right now, my plan, and I think it's a good idea for anyone who's involved in this business, is to really, is to really make sure that they're expressing something about themselves and enjoying it in the process. Because if you do that, I think generally speaking, you get a result at the end of the day. And I'm beginning to discover that the work that I did in the past, where I applied that kind of uh, a motto, um, that work is now regarded as my best work. So it seems to have paid off. So that would be my. Uh